In this episode, we explore how engineers design vehicles for deep space travel. What's the most challenging part of manufacturing a spaceship? Project Janos, you are go for launch. Hey, Josh Bernstein here. You ever wondered about spacecraft design? Well, sixth grader Elise has. How are spacecrafts designed for humans? Excellent question, Elise, and I've got a few more. How are spacecraft design decisions made? What's the most challenging part of designing a spacecraft? And is the design changed based on who or what's inside it? Those are just some of my questions. Let's search for answers together. The Apollo Missions Lunar Module, or LEM, is famous for bringing astronauts to the surface of the moon. But it was the spacecraft called the Command Service Module, or CSM, that got them to lunar orbit and back. The CSM had two parts. The Command Module housed the crew, spacecraft operations systems, and re-entry equipment. The Service Module contained the propulsion system and consumables like water, oxygen, and fuel. Today, there's a new spacecraft to bring Artemis astronauts to lunar orbit. Made by Lockheed Martin, it's called the Orion Crew Module, and I've come to Kennedy Space Center in Florida to learn about it from manufacturing engineer Anna Malachias. These are two Orion mock-ups here that we have. They're not necessarily used for training, but they're here to see how it feels to be inside Orion. How does one build a spacecraft? Like where do you start? First, NASA tells you that they want a space vehicle. And then from there, we have design engineers who design it, manufacturing engineers who come up with the work instructions on how to build that. We make sure all the tools are in place. And then we have technicians who read our work instructions and build it. What's the most challenging part of manufacturing a spaceship? Making sure at the end of the day that it was built correctly because there's going to be human lives mm -hmm. that are going to be on that. Every piece of the Orion capsule is just as important as the heat shield is, down to the smallest washer. Wow. Orion's heat shield is 16.5 feet in diameter, 3.7 feet more than the Apollo command module. The heat shield of a spacecraft has to protect the crew from the 5,000 degree temperature re-entering Earth's atmosphere. To do that, it's covered with AVCOAT. What is AFCODE? AFCODE is an ablative material, which is what the heat shield is primarily made out of. How does the AFCODE of Orion compare to the coating that was used back in the Apollo days? So Apollo actually did use AFCODE. We changed the design of it um, from a honeycomb structure, which was what Apollo used, to a block structure, which is what Orion uses. Mm -hmm. And that makes it safer, and it also um, takes less time to build. To learn more about Orion's interior design, I'm visiting Space Center Houston to meet Lockheed's Human Factors design engineer, LaShawn Bulware, at an actual mock-up of the capsule. So this is the modern command module? Yes, that is correct. We have our four astronauts here, and we also have four seats that are adjustable, mm -hmm. depending on the size of the crew member. LaShawn, what is the most challenging part of designing a spacecraft? I would say making sure we're designing to meet all types of shapes and sizes as far as the astronauts. I remind the designers all the time that, hey, we're designing for astronauts, don't forget that. Are there any considerations given that we now have female astronauts going to the moon? Yes, so when we design, we're designing with male and female in mind. So for example, in the hygiene bay, we have the toilet. And the toilet is about 30 or so inches above the floor. Mm -hmm. And depending on the size of the female, if they have longer legs or shorter legs, mm -hmm. their feet may not touch the, the floor of the hygiene bay. So I work with the designers to develop a foot plate that allow the female crew member to have that, the correct hip, hip angle for using the toilet. Designing spacecrafts to accommodate wider ranges of people is important and suggest a diversification of space as more and more people travel off of Earth. To learn more about this, I decide to visit Blue Origin to speak with Chief Scientist Stephen Squires. As we get millions of people into space, entire civilization, sure. a culture is gonna have yeah. to diversify. You're gonna have a, an enormous amount of diversity yeah. in space compared to what it's been previously. You're gonna need barbers to cut people's hair, mm -hmm. and you're going to need cooks, and you're going to need everything that makes a civilization work, right? Mm -hmm. It's very democratizing. 
Democratizing space travel means designing spacecrafts to accommodate people of all shapes and sizes. It also means designing communities where engineers and scientists live with barbers and cooks and artists. For civilization to flourish in space, diversity of all kinds will be critical. <laughs>